Anxious relatives are waiting for news at the Agrestina detention center, where a few weeks ago hundreds reported being badly beaten and tortured. 23-year-old Anna Maria Kononenko spent two nights here. She was detained at a women's march last Saturday, together with dozens of others. She says she was aggressively thrown into a van, intimidated and threatened. Considering myself a criminal, like at all, I don't, I don't think I've done anything bad. So, and to get that kind of treatment is just, uh, well, it's very dehumanizing. 18-year-old Arina Mamai was taken by mass police officers at the same rally. Standing with her arms locked with other women, here in this video wearing sunglasses, she was sprayed with pepper spray. And there were spraying this gas to women. Women who had nothing. Nothing except maybe flags and uh, like... Uh, Banner. Posters, ba banners, yes. Shortly after she was detained, Arina managed to warn her parents, who then started to look for her. We were not miserable. We knew that we are innocent, that we stand for truth. So it, we had nothing to fear. We were like playing games, guessing films, and uh, just really sitting and laughing. And I'm proud of her, but I want her to finish her studies. I have enough gray hair already, and her mom even more. But he realizes there is nothing that can stop his daughter. Instead of creating fear, Lukashenko's strategy of mass detentions and intimidations to stop the protest seems to have had the opposite effect. Even people who are released after being violently detained now say they are more determined to continue the protest. Families and friends of detainees point out that since the protest began last month in response to the disputed presidential election, something is different in Belarus. The whole, you know, city is feeling even happier to support each other, you know. Just we are, we are getting really close. After taking a rest, Anna Maria says she will join the protest again. It, it makes me only angrier and uh, I just I feel so much injustice in the system. Even after your treatment, the experience you had here in the detention center, you still go back to the streets? Yes, because they actually prove what we're trying to say, that all the system is not working, it's highly unfair, it's highly illegal. And I know that for these people, for my parents, for my brother who, have, you know, who is to live there, I will fight and I... I, I, know, I know that we will win. It's just a matter of time. After meeting these young women, it becomes clear that even with Lukashenko still in office, Belarus has already changed. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Minsk.